cinnamon, and honey. And it's gorgeous. <laughs> Let's get into it. What's going on YouTube Fragrance family? Welcome to another first impression on my channel. This is from the house of Maltal and their honey-based fragrance called Honey Oud, released in 2015. Now, myself and Maltal, um, we've had a rich history uh, ever since I started my fragrance uh, journey on YouTube. I reviewed Black Oud, my very first uh, fragrance review on the house of Maltal, White Oud, among others. I own over a dozen Maltals that are um, comfortably up here with my Creeds, my Nassimatos, my Lilabos, and a few Penhaligans here. Um, so they're upper shelf, and I love the brand of Maltel. However, I haven't purchased anything in several years from the brand, I'll be honest. Um, just been kind of gravitating to other brands in the past few years. And this is a blind buy, by the way. Um, I've heard such great things about Honey Oud. That and uh, the brand of Maltel actually has been talked about quite a bit in our YouTube fragrance. Them and Mancera has been getting a lot of press uh, lately. And, uh, I just felt like Montals are priced accordingly. Um, especially at discounters. Um, this one I think was 120 Canadian, give or take. Um, they can go under a hundred sometimes at these discounters. So honey oud, um, first and foremost, talking about discounters, I want to thank my partner fragrancex.com for this scent. You can purchase this scent on fragrancex.com and you can utilize my sweet code robes08. Um, they have uh, numerous uh, Maltals and, and of course Manceras too on their website. So go check them out. Um, so today you're here to watch my first impression on Honey Oud. Um, I am wearing this fragrance today. It is my scent of the day, but you want to know what I think about this fragrance real quick here. Um, so I'll do a spray on my hand just to remind me of this introduction. Um, first sniff with this fragrance, beautiful. Um, it, it really has, <laughs> first sniff, it just, it, I gravitate to these heavy cinnamon based fragrances and, and of course uh, lots of honey in this fragrance. So the opening of Honey Oud is, smells like dripping syrupy honey with a blast of cinnamon um, sprinkled all over the place. Um, the cinnamon almost played a game with me that I, 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 my mind just went apple pie immediately. It really did and I was like, apple? But lots of cinnamon here, lots of honey, some sweetness. She's sweet, she's spicy. Uh, reminds me of the color of the bottle basically, you know, that um, uh, metallic orange type, uh, feel. Um, that's the color that I'm, I'm thinking when I'm smelling this fragrance. You receive some of the amber and oud here that kind of gives it a resinous feel to the fragrance, but that honey's front and center and she's a beast. Maybe one of the best honey based fragrances on the market right now. Um, really, really impressed with the introduction of this one. Now, this is a Maltel in that typical manner of projection longevity. I've worn this a few times. I bought this back in, I think, February. It was a February haul, I believe. Um, she she kicks. Um, and so the dry down, the dry down is pretty, um, pretty much what you got in the opening is what you're gonna get into the dry down of this fragrance. There's, there's not too many moving parts in this fragrance. So can I call it linear? Pretty close to my nose. Now this is early into testing. I haven't really delved into this fragrance that much, but that overall theme doesn't move much, which is not a bad thing because I absolutely love this opening. It's so rich, dense, beautiful, and it's exactly what it said on the bottle. Um, honey, when I see the name honey on a uh, label, I wanna get that, and I did. Um, I was very much pleasantly surprised with the cinnamon and the dose of cinnamon in this. Very, very well done by Montal, very well constructed. It's got some depth and it's really dense and beautiful. Uh, overall, Honey Oud is a thick, dense, rich, and uh, solid fragrance from the house of Montal. I'm very happy with this blind buy. Um, again, when I haven't bought a fragrance from a, a brand in, in a few years, um, it, it's nice to go back to them and see what their newest release is. And the, the hype is real on a lot of these fragrances. Um, I, I need to get back into the Maltel game, but this one's a, a winner in my books for early things. Um, projection longevity are really, really great with this one. Um, 
I did, unfortunately, I did go check out Fragrance X before shooting this video, unfortunately. Um, on that disc counter, um, they are uh, sold out currently. However, you can always put your email in uh, the Fragrance X website on Honey Oud and they will email you once it's back in stock. Um, so unfortunately for Fragrance X, you can't get it there, but I'm sure there's a, a lot of other disc counters that have Honey Oud in stock. Um, I know some of them almost had this for under 100. So definitely go take a look and um, I'm early impressions. I'm very impressed with this one. I can't wait to review it. And as always, with all my first impressions, I love hearing your take on a particular fragrance, especially this Honey Oud. Uh, tell me what you guys think, good or bad, if you have smelt this fragrance. And as always, when I'm covering a brand, I love for you guys to also comment below and let me know what recent Motel fragrances that you think I should go check out. If you know that Fragrance Heck X has it, you comment below because that's where I'm probably going to get it. So if they have it in stock, I might just snatch it up. So thank you for watching. Can't wait to see your comments. Have a good one, guys.